When a girl named Sylvie and her family of creatures needs a new home, the stage comes to life. I was always a dancer and got into theater, and then I decided to make a puppet. And like all puppeteers, you have this moment where you put a puppet on and show it to someone, and magic happens. The play is called Go Home, Tiny Monster. The Boston-based Gotta Be's production is a mix of puppetry, live-action theater, music, and wordless joy. The family production is part of a boundary-pushing Chicago International Puppet Theater Festival. The puppet theater turns out to be a, a type of performance where uh, the, the, if it's a little figurine or if it's a marionette or if it's a hand puppet or whatever it is, it'll, it can take these stories which are in many ways much bigger than humans and embody them in a way that's, that's very uh, immediate. Those performances have pushed puppetry into the modern era. There are many traditional puppets performing here at the festival in Chicago, but some shows are pushing the limits on what it means to be a puppet and a puppeteer. The Finnish play Invisible Lands seeks to humanize a global migrant crisis. The duo on the stage are not actors. Their bodies are the set on which miniature puppets carry out their hopeful, often tragic journeys. The body is our contact with the world. It's the way to create um, connection to ourselves, the surrounding that we live in, and also to other people. So without seeing bodies, touching bodies, being around bodies, we don't have empathy. We cannot understand other people. In the French puppetry play Anywhere, a live actress portrays Antigone, daughter of Oedipus, who is played by a marionette made of ice dangling on 15-meter-long strings, who over the course of the play melts into oblivion. What makes it special as a, a puppeteer and as a builder is I make a new puppet every show and I get to watch this new character finish their, their life in front of all of us. It's quite moving and meaningful to me. The poetic journey of the doomed marionette demonstrates that after centuries of evolution of the art, puppetry can still melt a heart. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago.